That's what I thought you said. Now let me offer this as a rebuttal. Hey, hey, gang, gang. Hey, 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 gang, gang. Hey. Good morning, YouTube. Good morning. All right, I need to wake up. Good morning, YouTube. Welcome to my channel, or if you're a returning subscriber, nice to see you again. Uh, thanks for stopping by. Uh, I'm Millie. This is my precious little puss puss, Lena. And I really wasn't sure what to do for this week's video. Had a couple ideas rolling around in the brain because I haven't been able to thrift in super long and I'm starting to go a little crazy. I thought it might be a fun idea to go up and explore my attic. I feel like there might be some cool stuff up there. I know that my mom has a shit ton of her old clothes. So I'm gonna take you all up into my attic and we're gonna have a little thrifting day up there. Oh my god, literally what has my life come to? Quarantine is fucked. Let's move this party upstairs, folks. All right. Here we go. Whoa, I don't trust these stairs one bit. You guys are gonna have to bear with me because the lighting is not the best up here, but welcome to the attic. Not too shabby. Woo. Yeah, I'm just gonna start dragging bins um, that look like they have anything of value in them. I'm sweating. I'm gonna need to get water. It's like 100 degrees in here. So, I got a bunch of boxes here of clothes um and shoes and like i'm just gonna go through this all and try and get the hell out of here as fast as i can because i'm sweating my ass off this is crazy i didn't know we had so much stuff up here What are you doing up here, huh? Oh, doesn't want to be in the video. <laughs> Let's see how you get down the stairs with that heavy thing. There she goes, down under. So there are literally bins of stuff everywhere. Literally everywhere. Honestly, this reminds me of Goodwill right now. Like these shelves right now. I feel like I'm in the Goodwill Furniture Department. Bins just of clothes. Oh my god, I'm so excited to go through all of this. The fact, see there are tears coming out of my eyes right now. The fact that I went thrifting in my attic today. Coronavirus is a trip, y'all. Ooh, I've never seen the neighbor's yard before. Interesting. All right, so I've got this giant bin of clothes and just like random shit that I found up here. I'm gonna try and transport this downstairs and show you guys all the goods that I found. I don't cry, boy, you ruin me to cry. I'm sorry, sorry. <laughs> I'm back from the attic, um, and I found a lot of cool stuff, as you can probably see. Shoot, I don't know how this goes. Did a little makeup for y'all. I put everything together. Um, not wearing a top right now because I'm going to try all of these items on for you guys. The first item and the one I'm the most excited about is currently on my head. Um, yeah, this whole like bandana um, headscarf trend has really been in lately. I'm super excited about this one and I'm gonna show you all the rest of the shit. I found this brown corduroy um, button up shirt. Personally, I like to style these shirts off the shoulder, um, and then what I'll do is I'll just like 
button up one or two of the buttons and then tie it um, around my waist. So again, we've just got another basic um, long sleeve button down. I like this one a lot because it's super worn in. The material is really soft and it's nice and baggy. So I could definitely sleep in it. There you have it, shirt number two. And best of all, it was completely free. Next, I found this like purple pinkish sweater. I think this could be really cute if you tuck it under your bra or into your jeans. Yeah, this is a super fun sweater. I feel like I would see this at like Brandy or Urban or something. This sweater is dope. First of all, I remember my mom got this sweater either like right before I was born or right after I was born. She used to love this sweater. I think she got it at LF, believe it or not. She was like hip. Um, but yeah, I hadn't seen this sweater in so long and I remember it used to be giant on me, but like I always loved when my mom would wear it and I thought it was the coolest freaking sweater. I'm finally tall enough to wear this and I love it. I'm so excited I found this. I'm glad she held on to it. Look at these. Literally, these sleeves are so fun. I feel like I fly away in these. The last sweater I found is this old school brandy sweater that says Connecticut on it. I think there were only like a couple of these sweaters made and I haven't seen them made recently, um, or at least since I've been working there. So kind of crazy that I found this. Honestly, it's in good shape, but I wouldn't wear this. Like, I just don't like Connecticut. I don't know, like maybe someone else would want this. If you want this sweater, hit me up. I don't really want this, but I still think it's cool. Um, I'm gonna try it on just for fun. Excuse me. 2014 Brandy Vibes. Excuse me. This is like, is this not a shirt you would see a Brandy? Or at Urban. Like, how cute is this? Um, this is just like a vintage Irish pub shirt. This shirt just has a giant burger on it. Um, or sandwich. Wish I could take a bite out of it right now. All right, we got another old school shirt. This one says the Wild Beast, um, Cal Arts, California. Oh my God, Cal Arts is a dope school. I actually wanted to go there for a bit. I don't know if the Wild Beast is their like uh, mascot or something, but cool shirt either way. Uh, this one, I think this is Jimi Hendrix. I'm pretty positive. Yeah, this shirt has, oh yeah, it says Hendrix on it. It's got a 2004 date on it. Fun fact, um, I play guitar like Jimi Hendrix. I play it upside down and left-handed. Not like a lot of peeps. I don't know what this little symbol is. I don't know if you guys can see on the shirt. It's just got this little like marshmallow looking character on it. Everybody likes the Beatles, am I right? Um, yeah, another t-shirt. Nice. Get a little up close for y'all. Where's Paul? Where's my boy? All right, the last, whoa. The last shirt I found is just this Litchfield Beach, South Carolina, giant um, like periwinkle t-shirt. Feeling fab. Feeling flirty, feeling 30, feeling dirty, feeling, I'm not gonna try on the two pairs of bottoms that I found because these are not my size and these I think I wanna sell um, just cause they're literally brand new. They still have the tag on them and I'm sure someone's more into like vintage uh, lingerie and like sleepwear than I am. So yeah, these are super cute. And then I found this pair of free people jeans, um, but they're definitely way too tiny on me. And then the last two things I found are just these floral scarves um, that I definitely want to use as like a headscarf. Um, I also found this San Francisco hat from, it says 47 on it, but I doubt it's actually that old. Let me see the tag. Oh, it's the brand. Maybe it's the San Francisco 47ers. Yeah, I thought this was cute. I'm definitely gonna wash this, so I'm not gonna put it on my head for you guys, but I guess this wraps up today's video. For those of you who made it to the end of this video, thank you very much. I appreciate it. Um, and if there's anything you guys got out of today's attic thrifting experience, um, I hope it's that you should definitely consider looking through your house, 
looking through your relatives old clothes or even just asking people that you're close with for their hand-me-downs because you can find some cool shit. Uh, I got some pretty exciting content coming for y'all soon so stay tuned and I will be seeing you guys quicker than the blink of a whisker. In the blink of a cat's whisker.